Hello and welcome back to Nacho Average. I'm your host, Nevin Serretta, and by now, I'm sure you know my co-host, Joel Lewis. In today's episode, we will be making taco-stuffed bell peppers. For ingredients and measurements, be sure to head over to our website. Now sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. This is going to be a good one. Hello and welcome to Nacho Average Cooking Show. I'm your host, Nevin Serretta, and this is my special guest, Joel Lewis. Joel, say hi. Hi. <laughs> Today we are going to be making stuffed bell peppers. So I took green, Joel took red. Yep. This is what we chose. So we're going to start by cutting off the top. Here's my knife. <laughs> oh. I want a cutter. I'll give you after. I can get it on. Yeah. Here. Oh, thank oh. you. Thank you. Random. Random. Random, <laughs> random camera lady. Oh. Look at that. So then you're gonna cut off. The... <laughs> <Right in> my eyeball. <laughs> okay. Okay. So you just gotta cut the thing here. You're gonna scoop out the innards. Because mm -hmm. we don't want that. Put that over here. I wonder if you plant these things, the brownie peppers. Let's try it. Go plant one in your backyard. Not that good. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, so we have our meat here, and what we have in our meat is a pound of ground beef. We have some taco seasoning as well as some onions. This was made beforehand. I mean, Joel is. Done Glad well. enough to make it. So now we put in our black beans first. Yeah, look Ooh, at all those. Look, look at all those beans. Too many. <laughs> now what? I believe it is the corn. So the salsa. <laughs> so you put. Oh, that looks like a good enough amount of corn. I even like corn. <laughs> oh, you're gonna like corn today, I guess. So I stir it up. No, oh. now we have rice. Oh, that's a lot of rice. No more. <laughs> we'll use all the rice and now cheese. I think we are a little low on the meat. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. That looks beautiful. Joel's gonna mix it up. Now you mix some too. We're gonna we're gonna take turns. Because sharing is caring, everybody. Alright. Joel, is this one of your first cooking experiences? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this might be, actually, might be my first cooking experience. Do you think you'll ever cook again after this? Uh, no. I don't. I cook Mexi fries in a toaster oven every once in a while. Nice. So now we start. Ooh, it's got a little bit of heat to it. Mm -hmm. Not a lot. So now you start stuffing your pepper. A little cold in the bottom. Can I just throw this in here? Yep. Can I lick the spoon? Yep. That's your spoon now. <laughs> you just gotta get it in there, make sure you pack it deep. <laughs> Phrasing. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, make sure there's an even amount of everything. There's a lot of berries over here. Berries. <laughs> Beans. <laughs> Where I'm from, those are called berries. I'm from here. <laughs> in mind because we got <laughs> we got some extra meat over here. <laughs> oh cry oh cry because of laughing so hard. Oh a what? <laughs> Who said what? What? <laughs> so there you go. <laughs> I'll add a little bit more to mine now. 
figure out a little too much in my head. Maybe I'll take some off. <laughs> While the peppers are in the oven, it's the perfect time to go and grab yourself a drink. Check out our previous video where we made margaritas, which we thought were the perfect drink to go with our bell peppers. You can eat this in two different ways. Three, you can straight up burger it. Uh, you can knife it like Nevin will. You can also fork it. Or a spoon. The forking approach doesn't work. Oh no, it all fell out. I got it. <laughs> no, this is mine. How's it taste? I need a knife. There's there's a knife over there. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Post. <laughs> Knife's are sure. <laughs> so I just gotta. This is quite a. I don't know how to do this even. Just cut her in half. Just gotta give her a nice little cut. Nice little slice and dice. Yeah, and then there's. This doesn't look like you did on the TV shows. <laughs> Come on! That's what's supposed to happen. <laughs> I think so. Hey! I'm just gonna. Oh shit. Oops, sorry. Yeah, you need the knife for this whole thing here. Peppers are strong. Mm. How are you gonna go? Pepper the bowl or just eat it? I think we're just eat it. I don't know. <laughs> Alrighty, Joel. Back to the rating system. Presentability, what's our presentability here? You get a shirt. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Not <that> attractive. <laughs> this is hard. Presentability. Oh, it looks good. So, 11 out of 10. 11? Mm -hmm. We're going off the rating system. Yep. Edibility. Um, tasty, is it edible? It was tasty. Uh, edibility, ease of, edi ease of eating, um, one. <laughs> one out of ten. It's difficult to cut into. Mm -hmm. And easy to make, Joel? Was it easy to make? Um, absolutely. I'm gonna say about, about probably about a. I would, I would say about a seven out of ten. Yeah, I'll give it a six and a half. I'm just absolutely destroying it. So, yeah. That is our meal. We have the wonderful bell peppers. Stuffed bell peppers. Margaritas. Margaritas, can't forget the margaritas. That will wrap things up for us today. I am your host, Nevin Serena. This is my wonderful co-host, Joel Lewis, and we will see you guys next time.